Today formed a bear trend from the open that led to a trading range. Traders started selling closes here, selling below here, selling below here. And the reason for that is after three consecutive bear bars, the odds favored a second leg down. Because the market had a wedge, one, two, three, many bears would get out above this bar or above this bar to wait and see what the pullback looked like. Aggressive bulls may buy above here or here. If they did, they would probably get out as the market turned down here, certainly at the low of this bar. Bears, they'd get short again below the neckline of a double top. Here's the double top, here's the neckline, especially since the odds favored a second leg down. So bears, they're selling below bars, selling below here, selling below here. Less would be willing to sell here, and if they did, they would likely get out above two consecutive bull bars, especially with the one closing on their high. The reason for that is this is a wedge bottom. One, two, and three. Aggressive bulls would buy above here, or above here, or here, betting that the market would get back to the moving average and back to these highs here, which is also the apex of this final flag. You can call it a triangle. It doesn't matter. It's a tight trading range and the market's going to retest it. Tight enough channel, the odds favored a second leg up. Sell the closed bears would sell here and likely sell below this bar, betting on disappointed bears who would buy back their shorts at break even. Some bears would not sell here because the channel up was tight, even though it formed a wedge. One, two, and three. They would look to sell higher. This is too strong and not a good signal bar, so a lot of bears would not be willing to sell below here, and they would likely wait to sell here. At this point, the market formed consecutive tops. Here's the first push, which is a wedge. Here's the second, which is another wedge, one, two, and three. The bulls failed to break above this double top here and turned down, forming the wedge. This pullback was expected, three pushes up, one, two, three. So if you do sell below here, you may get a deep pullback that tests almost to the top of the signal bar, but not go above it. More bears would sell below this bar, or below this bar, or below this bar, and eventually the bears got a bear breakout. However, trading range day, the bears broke below these lows, they got close to the low close, and the market started to reverse up. A lot of bears who sold down here would be so disappointed that they would be happy for the market to get near their entry price on their first position. They sold here, they sold more here, or here, they're going to be happy to take profits if it gets somewhat close to this low close. Aggressive bulls would buy, betting on a higher low, major trend reversal. However, after this many bars down, a lot of bulls would not be willing to buy, betting on a minor pullback. This rally was strong enough that there were probably buyers below, even if the market went to a new low here. The market went sideways for the next 12 bars had a bear breakout below a wedge, one, two, three, and reversed up. Overall, the day was a bear trend from the open, and if you remove the first six bars of the day, the rest of the day was the trading range. Therefore, it's very important to understand where you are in the bottom of the range and the top of the range. Look to buy second entries or wedge bottoms, and look to sell second entry tops or wedge tops. If you enjoyed this video, please go to the brookstradingcourse.com where you can see more information about the daily blogs as well as the weekly blogs or find more information on the trading course. Thank you for watching.